Last night he showed me that you're his family. And I think it began with the fact that this family just received us as if we belonged to them. That is another expression of Christ. This is, could be strangers to us, but we, we received into their home as though we belong. And that was uh, the start of what he was showing me, that you belong to his family and you belong to one another, and he wants your children raised in that way. He wants them raised in a way where they understand and know what that is. Our son has experienced arriving in a strange country and being given a car. That is God. Do you see? Because of the family of God. And so he, so I believe that God, first of all, wants, wants you to know about that in a deeper way, about you being his family. He wants, you to, he wants us to know that you are our family, that we belong to your families. That, that it, 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 I can't express the depth of this because it was quite in, intense last night, how we actually belong to your families. You know, we oikos family ministries and we minister to families and we share with families and we serve families, but we don't think of ourselves as belonging to you. But now we do. We had to come to Namibia to get that. All these years, 27 years or something, we've been running oikos ministries and we only get this last night. That, that we actually... And, and then another thing when I said, she said something other, I was thanking her and she said, well, we, you, uh, you don't need to thank me or something... Um, of her word, she said a sentence like, you do a lot for us or you've done a lot for us or something. And I was a bit taken aback and I thought, well, I haven't done anything for her. I don't know what she means. But now um, I do know God is doing a lot for you through this ministry. So that means that we are part of your lives. I don't mean to be presumptuous by, <laughs> by saying this uh, um, because it's just new to me. So it's exciting to me that that's what he wants you to know. The next thing he wants you to know is the one thing that actually motivates Oikos Ministries, the one thing that motivates me as an individual to keep serving in Oikos Ministries is your children. That children, to me, is what it's all about. I said to their children last night that you boys are very happy. It's quite clear. You don't come into this house and find miserable children on antidepressants and not talking to their father you see a boy climbing on his father's lap. You see the children go to bed and the father follow down the passage to go spend time with his sons before they go to sleep. You see this beautiful picture of a family and of happy children. And then I think that's what Oikos is all about. That's why we do what we do. And that's why we'll carry on doing what we're doing all the way. Because it's about those children being raised in a household, in a home where they, where, where they know that they are loved and they know God's love for them. And they are happy children. Because you must remember as well that Oikos serves children's homes. We, put, we send a lot of resources into children's homes. And children's homes have children that are very, very broken. And you go to that place and you see children that can't even lift their eyes, children that have been very, very badly broken and hurt. And now you've got people that are called from God to actually reach out to those children and love them and look after them. And you know what? They can't do school in those children's homes. They can't, the, the principals and carers can't sit down and do lessons with those children and take out a maths book. Because first, those children's hearts have to be repaired. So all those principals and carers have to do is love the children. That's all they have to do, is love them. And love them, and love them, and love them. And when those children are loved and, rest loved and restored, then you can think about education. And it's not about bringing them out of the streets and then teaching them because they must be educated. You must do this formal education with them. No, you must love them because that's what God said. God did not say, rescue the orphans, look out and educate them because I want to check that their, their maths level is up to standard. He didn't say that. He said, love them. 